There's no way at this point to overturn the 2020 election, right? No, there's always a way. There's always a way. There's no conflict. Especially the audits are out. There's millions of guns here. And I, you, know, you know, it took 11 days for them to take over Afghanistan. I wonder how many days. Just ask for a friend how many days it, it take the Patriots to take over this country. Think about it. You, you don't want that to happen here. I do don't you? want it to happen, but if our country and our government and our Congress and Biden and them don't get their heads out of their butt, it's going to happen. I'm, I assure you, it's coming. You saw right there that Republican talking about taking over the country in the United States just like the Taliban took over Afghanistan. And that is honestly very telling, especially because a lot of right-wingers recently have taken it upon themselves to compliment the Taliban on their policies, especially regarding women's rights and topics like abortion. Now, let's go a step further though, because I think we really need to understand where exactly we are as a country. And in order to really understand that, I think we need a history lesson. Take one look at Germany a hundred years ago. What they had was a situation where they had a socialist movement that was rising amid also a fascist movement that was rising. And when forced to choose between those movements, the liberals of the time decided to alienate the socialists and focus most of their efforts forming a coalition around capitalists in the interests of the wealthy that, while it said that it didn't like the fascists, didn't do anything seriously to oppose them. Then, after the fascists attempted a coup and failed, they didn't really do much to it or take it seriously and well I think we all know where it goes from there so I don't know if you can see any similarities with you know perhaps these liberals who think that they can form a coalition with the Republicans as they are today who want to cooperate with them and find some sort of compromise while also working as hard as they possibly can to fight against any candidate within their own party that happens to be pushing for something that's a bit more far left we are in a dangerously close situation here in the United States today as Germany was in the 1920s. And if we really don't understand where we are, then we can't prevent a terrible future, which is absolutely necessary, especially considering the climate crisis going on. So these Republicans, it's important to remember that there's no bargaining with them. There's no speaking truth to them. It's not even a matter of truth, right? Because in the mindset of fascists, they simply do not care about the truth. All they care about is power. Power, in their mind, is more important than truth. That is the only truth that they recognize or understand, which is why they're so willing to use violent force out in the streets. Just like Germany had roving street gangs of white nationalists, so too does the United States at this point in time. We can't go soft on the people who tried to start the insurrection in January 6th because this is what is in the back of the minds of many, many Republicans. Many Republicans at this point in time are not willing to take political violence off the table, and that is something that we need to take seriously. Just last week, there was a bomb threat at the United States Capitol. So this is a message to the liberals in Congress, especially the centrists who think they can form a coalition with these good faith Republicans. You can't. They have fully embraced fascism and they are rejecting any type of electoral process. And if you want to have any semblance of democracy, you are going to have to grow up and realize that you will have to work with the socialists in order to maintain a democratic system of government. Otherwise, we might find ourselves in the same situation that Germany did a hundred years ago. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with my content. You can also catch me on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time with my show Galaxy Brain.